i welcome you all for this uh, session on advanced cnc programming so first uh, let us understand uh, what is the importance of uh, advanced programming and uh, why it is required so advanced cnc programming means using macro variables and special g commands uh, in the program to use it in a efficient manner by using it we can reduce the length of the program and if we enter it in a required block of the program we can change the work offset tool offset tool wear and also uh, customize the program so that nobody can modify or edit the program so what happens in uh, in a company or in a production scenario people will be coming in uh, different shifts first shift second shift third shift and all so what happens first shift operator will be doing something second shift operator will uh, operator will change the program to uh, his comfortness or uh, his uh, easiness of the working so what happens it will affect in the future shift shifts say for example if a person comes in night shift he doesn't understand what to do sometimes the feed rate will be modified sometimes uh, the rpm will be modified so he will get confused so if you uh, program it in a uh, in a advanced manner uh, it is like a customized program so normally the person who comes in different shifts will not understand uh, how to change the program or edit the program so in that way your program will be safer so that nobody will modify whatever your intention of feed rate or speed, speed whatever the cycle time of your program it will be um, uh, uh, it will be uh, as as it is maintained so that is the advantage of cnc programming uh, advanced cnc programming so here we are using various macros uh, to control the program so say for example if you want to change the work offset in um, uh, in some particular uh, uh, portion of the program so we can add one just one block in the program so that it automatically the controller will understand where is the work offset for that particular portion it will operate and afterwards you can uh, uh, give one more block so that it will be uh, restoring into the original uh, work offset where it is required for other uh, portion of the program and similarly we can customize the uh, to tool offset also tool wears also say for example we can add some sequencing in the program so that at that particular point you can add one block in the program so that your uh, tool wear will be modified uh, maybe length of length wear or uh, radius wear can be modified in the program so all these are the advantages of cnc programming and after uh, after that uh, uh, you can um, um, rotate the uh, program you can uh, scale the program that means scale the component or uh, uh, mirror the component or uh, by just adding one block one uh, macro block or one special command in the program all these can be done within a click of your uh, uh, button so that that is the advantage of this uh, program and one is um, uh, without the person's knowledge who has made the program other person cannot modify or edit the program because of this uh, um, customization in the program so these are all the advantages of uh, cnc program so now how we can use macros in this program how to utilize macros that we will understand okay why custom macro is required what is the purpose of macros what is the purpose of macro uh, macros in the program so we are using variables different variables and um, we can use arithmetic operations also so that means all these plus minus uh, multiplication subtraction so all these can be done by using macros automatically okay so and we can give conditional statements like go to do while can be used so sometimes from one block to other block we can directly give go to option with condition then we can give some looping by using do while operations okay so then for developing user defined cycles so sometimes we can uh, write as per our requirement how i want to write the program so uh, like that how i want to require how i require to write the program so that way i can write the program 
so is the called from user program so these are the ad advantages of using macros in the program so now you can note down this this is very important so how to what are all the different range in custom macro variables so here hash 0 will be always null it is not zero it is null that means no value can be given to hash 0 then hash 1 to hash 33 are called as local variables so uh, see, uh, similarity is there between hash 100 to hash 199 these are all called common variables even though local variables and common variables variable different names are there there are similarities in hash 1 to hash 33 and hash 100 to hash 199 so what is the similarity that means they are temporary numbers whenever you reset or whenever you power off these values will be erased these values will be uh, will not be remembered permanently that is the uh, similarity between hash 1 to hash 100 hash 33 and hash 100 to hash 199 so hash 1 to hash 33 called as local variables hash 100 to hash 199 called as common variables and from hash 500 to hash 999 these are all common variables but here the difference is these values can be permanently stored so whenever you reset or power off these values will not be erased that is what the difference between common variables and local variables that too from hash 500 to hash 999 then hash 1000 and above is called as system variables so these variables can be used to uh, for different uh, different uh, purposes you can store your work offset uh, uh, above hash 1000 uh, in some some series will be given in the manual you should check in the manual what is the what are all the series uh, will be used for different purposes like you can store your uh, work offset uh, tool offset tool radius compensation all these can be stored after hash 100 hash 1000 so these are all called system variables hash 1000 and above are called as system variables so that is the difference uh, different ranges are available in custom macro variables but hash 1000 and above we cannot see so these can be stored but we cannot see them that is the uh, uh, difference between uh, system variables and bet between common variables and local variables okay so you can note down these um, variables how it can be used so how we can um, write it in the program so variables called as macro variables are address of locations containing data so the variables wherever you want which one you want can be stored with the, some data what is the value maybe some 20 10 100 5 1 0 whatever so whatever you can store there which number is required what is the value you want to store you can store in that particular variable then numeric values can be specified using variables that means uh, in the program how you can use them in the program so you can use has x hash 500 so that means what is stored in 500 say for example 100 mm or 200 mm or 50 mm that will be read so x hash 500 means if in hash 500 if you stored 50 50 then it will become x 50 that is how So has ha, x hash 500 means x 50 that can be understood in the program. So it will understand. Variable is specified with a hash sign followed by number. So that means hash 1 is equal to hash 2 plus 100. So that means hash 1 value will be equal to hash 2 whatever stored in hash 2. Say for example if you stored um, 5 mm in hash 2. I'll just note it down here. So hash 1 is equal to hash 2 plus 100. So if you stored in hash 2 50 mm or 50, now what happens? Hash 1 automatically becomes 50 plus 100, 150.
150. So that means if you program x hash one, x hash one, that means x will be 150 mm. That is the meaning. So this is this is how we have to understand the macro. So initially I am storing hash two as 50. I am storing hash two as 50. Then I am giving the calculation or the arithmetic calculation like hash one is equal to hash two plus 100. Okay. Then hash one becomes automatically 150 mm. Now if I write t01 g01 x hash one, that means g01 instead of that means the meaning is g01 x 150 automatically it will calculate all these calculations will be done automatically by the controller then controller will uh, cutter will move 150 mm so 100 if this is the position from here controller will be moving x 150 this is how we have to use macros in the program okay then expressions can be specified with variables then enclosing a value within brackets is considered a macro expression so that means in the square bracket, we have to use the square bracket whenever we write the expressions or what is required. So then we need to write within this square bracket. Then automatically it will calculate. Okay, G01, F300 means G01 X 150, F feed rate is 300. That is, that is how I think you can correlate with whatever we discussed the program earlier. So there we have written all this. You can use instead of that, you can use by using hash values, micro, macro variables. So this is how you can write it. So example, so example is given hash is equal to hash one plus hash two plus hash two minus two. Minus 12. So you can write these type of expressions. What is required? What is required? So hash will be hash 1 plus hash 2. So that may be hash 1 will be 150. Say for example, hash 2 will be uh, 50 mm. Correct? No? So 150 plus 50, that is 200. 200 minus 12, that will be one, uh, 188. So then hash will become 188. So you can give these kind of logics these kind of expressions while writing the program. You can use these kind of programs. You can write it in the program how we have written. So these kind of calculations can be done automatically. You can write it in the program. This is how we can use macro variables. Then you can see here um, a referenced variable is rounded as per the least input increment of the address. So that means if you write hash 100, 12.3456, so it will be rounded to three digits. After decimal, it will be rounded off to three digits. So 12.3456 will be rounded off to 12.3436. So this is how you need to understand. So it will be rounded to this value. Whatever you write the number, it will be rounded to this much number only. Then reversing size is, sign is possible. So hash minus one, G00, X minus hash one. So what happens here in this case, if you write like this, then it will become nothing but G00, X minus 150. So it will move X minus 150. So plus 150, minus 150. You can write like this also, X minus hash one. This way also you can write it. So how you want, you can write it. So as required by the, the drawing or program. So program numbers and sequence numbers cannot be referenced using variables. That means O cannot be written or N cannot be written because O is the program number. Program number will start from O. That's why you cannot use O. Then N is block number. N1, N2, N3, N10, N20, N30, like that. So you cannot use O and N for writing the macros, hash. Hash variables, you cannot write it. 
so when the value of variable is blank it is null and not zero so whenever any hash value is not given that means it is not considered as zero you cannot consider that as zero that is a null value nothing will be there it is a blank and so if the mark in variable location indicates overflow that means after certain digits it doesn't show it will be just showing you are this kind of marks so if it is some value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. so like this it will not take it will it will not display the numbers if it is exceeding the limit it will show after this value it will show simply asterisk marks like that so it will not show you the complete number it will not display the numbers when it is overflowing in the particular macro so that we need to understand only up to 7 or 8 you can write it the value so once it crosses the decimal it will show you only three digits round it off so that is how you need to understand while writing the macro